Hey everyone, welcome back to Redditly. Today's video is a part 2 to last upload, so make sure you click the link on the top right and watch that first. It's titled, Caught Wife Cheating with Her Boss. Please make sure you like and subscribe and hit that notification bell so you never miss a future upload from us. Let's get right into it. Day before D-Day, my wife and I attended the black tie dinner. I was seated on a table with most of her colleagues who she introduced me to. I noticed her boss was seated on another table and I found it strange that she didn't introduce me as they go on runs together once a week and she talks about him infrequently at home. Whilst the presentations were on, I noticed my wife was constantly looking over her shoulder trying to make eye contact with her boss. It was persistent and reminded me of what I did when I first met my wife. It's the first part of the love process which you are infatuated with each other. I looked at her boss out of the corner of my eye and noticed him doing the same thing. When he made eye contact with her, he made eye contact with me and looked away really fast. My wife would look at me and then ask if my dinner was okay. I knew this was a sign of guilt and something was going on. I continued the night not wanting to spoil it in front of the other colleagues. At the conclusion of the dinner on the way home, I put it on my wife that something right with her boss. I didn't deny anything emphatically straight away, which made me even more sure. She just said I'm seeing things. I went home and I explained I think she's having an emotional affair or more with her boss. She said she enjoyed his company and that she likes and cares for him, but tried to play dumb and say, what's an emotional affair? I knew my wife was an intelligent and I knew what she was. We finished the night talking. D-Day. Next day, she went to work. When she was about to finish work, she messaged me saying she's going to have a few drinks after work with her work colleagues. She had been doing this a lot in the last six months, which was totally out of character. My daughter was constantly saying, mommy not coming or mommy at work. She was noticing it and it wasn't even three yet. Anyway, my wife said she was going to have a drink or two and then come home quickly. I said, sure, go ahead. My wife ended up coming home four hours later and told me she had a good time before hitting the showers. I asked her who she was out with and she told me about three to four colleagues and her boss. I thought that that was so strange she would go with him in a group setting after I just told her what I suspected. As she was in the shower, I checked her phone and I noticed there was no conversations with her boss. However, she had a message she had written to her boss that she hadn't sent yet, which read, I love you too. I just know you're not in a great spot. My whole world just collapsed. My wife was telling her boss she loved him. I just couldn't believe it. The last six weeks, she told me she doesn't love me. I was doing so much stuff right, and she was just luring me on, knowing she's falling in love with someone else. I always thought everything I was doing was falling on deaf ears, which was so surprising as she said I made these changes in February when we had the discussion that she would be more in love with me now. I confronted her about it, and she was just expressionless. The first thing she could say is, why are you going through my phone? I was so stunned, I just didn't know how to comprehend my feelings. I was pacing up and down the house and firing questions at her right and center. My wife told me it was an emotional connection only and was happening for around three months. My wife knew if the relationship came out, she would lose her job at work and it's a massive conflict of interest, but she continued anyway. I told her to get out that night and she left for her friends. I was trying to process everything. How could you do this to me? How can you do this to anyone? We've had nine beautiful years without any troubles and you do this. I'm at home minding your daughter while you progress your career and just S on me. I was struggling big time. My emotions were running high, but I knew I still loved her so much. I knew the person she became in the last three to four months was not the person who she was. My wife has never been a liar, deceitful, or liked going out drinking after work. Her boss had taken advantage of her vulnerabilities and told her what she wanted to hear while she wasn't getting that emotion met at home. For the next few days, I was devastated and hurt, but I knew I wanted it to work. Not only for my daughter, but for everything we had built together over 10 years. I also knew the person she turned her into wasn't the person she was. I took my wedding band off and she noticed. I told her I took it off as you hurt me and didn't feel like the ring meant anything right now. My wife was still wet wearing her rings and through guilt, took hers off the next day and put them in her bedside drawer. We talked a lot and she told me that she hated herself for doing what she did and felt disgusted that she could ever tell someone she had only had an emotional connection with that she loved them. 
I told her everything he was telling you is infatuation and not love. He was telling you what you wanted to hear when you were missing it at home. She kept asking me if I understood how it got to this point and I would get really angry about it. I told her I understood how it can be a perfect storm on a number of things, but I'll never justify what you did. My wife and I didn't get much sleep in the next few days. I was at home looking after our daughter and she, she was sleeping on a friend's couch. Four days after D-Day, my wife came home and we had a long conversation. She was totally exhausted and looked like death. I told her to sleep in our bed tonight and I would sleep on the couch so she can get some sleep. She agreed. Before she went to bed, my wife continued to apologize and said she needs to know in herself why she did what she did. I told her that people make mistakes, although I can't ever justify what you have done and my trust with you has been torn to shreds. People do make mistakes. We aren't perfect. My wife said she stopped all text and phone conversations with her boss and is only seeing him at work on a professional level when she has two with her colleagues, so maybe twice a week for 10 to 15 minutes. My wife said she is still confused with her feelings and has felt overwhelmed the last seven weeks. I told her that's because she has been emotionally connecting with her boss outside the marriage and then coming home and seeing her husband make huge improvements but not giving him credit for it. I told her I can imagine how mentally draining that is. My wife explained to me that she was happy with her life before she had this affair but wondered if she was truly happy. She told me for once she put herself first and that's part of the reason she did this. I told her that she has always put others before herself since I've known her and that she does this because it's what makes her happy. I said as soon as you put yourself first in front of everyone else, look what has happened. You've lost all your core beliefs and morals and had an affair with someone. I told her she is doing exactly what her mother did to her father four years earlier. During that time, she told me she couldn't believe what her mother did and said she never wants to be her mom. And here we are. A few days later, my wife came around before I got home and took our daughter out for dinner. I got home and I noticed her rings were not in the drawer and they had been sitting for a few days and I thought she must have them on. She got home a bit later and I noticed her rings were on. When she wasn't around my daughter, I told her it was nice she has her rings back on. She looked at me and smiled and said, you don't have yours on. I took this as a good sign that the few days away was affecting her and she was starting to realize what she had done. I went out to play some squash and came back hours later. I hugged her and then looked at her in the eyes and said, I love you. Before I could say anything else, she said, I love you too. For the first time, I felt it was genuine. Whenever I said this in the past, she wouldn't reply or she would say, you know I care for you. This signified a positive step forward. We sat down and I just listened to her. She told me she looked at a few places to stay for a bit longer to clear her head, but she was upset at how crap they were and that home was comfortable. My wife indicated she needed space for three to four weeks to evaluate everything she has done without having everyone in her ear. My wife has always been a person that likes her own space a thing, and I could clearly see she was getting bombarded from our close family and friends and her friends. My wife said she needed time to see why her feelings for her boss were strong and if it was infatuation or what was something more. I agreed the time apart would be good. Even though I still love her so much, I wanted her to have a clear mind before we move forward with the marriage. I want her to realize that the grass isn't always greener on the other side, and that's what she had at home. A family means more to her than an emotional affair with her boss. Although we had some times at the beginning of the year that was difficult in our marriage, I have grown as a man and understand the role I played and learned how much communication is key to everything, especially taking on a deeper level. I also understand that being present in the moment and grateful for what you have is a hugely important. Becoming complacent in your marriage or life is a killer, and I realize that I never want to do it again. The next day, my wife organized an apartment to stay in for four weeks. We both agreed we would talk to each other throughout, and our daughter would stay with her on a few occasions. My wife would come over a few nights a week for dinner, and we would take our daughter out for family time together as well. I wanted to keep normality with my daughter as much as I can and she did too. Although I was devastated that my wife will be away for four weeks and I don't know what the future is going to hold, I know it's a process that must take its course as we were constantly talking about it at home and it was becoming overwhelming for both of us. 
I don't think we could have worked through this at home environment without her reevaluating the situation alone. It feels so weird that I'm fighting for my wife after what she has put me through the last seven to eight weeks, but I cling to hope that the week or so after the time we were connecting a lot, when the boss wasn't messaging her, I could see my old wife back and everything felt normal. I guess I came to this sub to see if anyone has similar situations to me and what I can do to try and make it work. At the end of the day, she will make the final decision whether she believes in marriage for 9 years and what we built is worth another crack. I just feel ashamed that I don't feel more angry for what she has done, but I feel like I've grown so much to realize that this isn't who she is. Is there anything I can do to help repair the situation or do I need to let it take its course?